never had my main tool bag locked into the pack out, so when I took a corner, it took a tumble. So I think it's a good time to clean it out, reorganize it. And so I figured I'd make a small video. This is my main bag I use every day. The drill sometimes lives in there, but usually it stays in a secondary bag with gloves, flashlights, drills, drill bits, anything else I need, auxiliary to this one. And so this is how it sits in the stack. It clips in this way and the little latch to open it up to take it out is under there, which I didn't have it locked in. That's why it fell down. So I guess I'll just start on the end here. Got a really handy knife, the longer one that you can break in different spots. And I just picked up some refill blades for that. Use that a lot. Uh, just rando pencils. You can never find one when, when you need one, same as a tape measure. I like to keep a lot of those around, the little ones. I like both of these brands, the Flat Max from Stanley as well as the Milwaukee. I've been using the Milwaukee ones recently. And this is an interesting little tool. It's a knife that takes the same blades as a Sawzall. So you always have the right blades around if you want to use one in the Sawzall or in this hand tool. A step bit. And along this side, I think this is called a sliding T-bevel. Comes in handy for setting hinges, stuff like that, setting depth. A uh, pipe wrench and just a standard crescent wrench, obviously for plumbing and stuff like that. Two bars, use them both a lot. Pulling trim, pulling nails, stuff like that. Little flat scrapers. Same thing to get behind trim sometimes. It comes in handy for a lot of different things. Tile, drywall. This flat saw and the keyhole saw. I mostly use the recip tool for stuff like this for cutting door jams, but kind of a Japanese style saw. It does come in handy from time to time, so I keep it around. A couple chisels, which need to be sharpened in the worst way, but for spit setting door hinges or door latch strike plates, things like that. Screwdrivers. I did a review of this one a while ago. It's pretty awesome ratcheting screwdriver with extra bits. The big black snap-on sometimes gets abused as a pry bar. Stuff like that for chipping the other two snap-on ones. A set of Allen wrenches for showers, stuff like that. Cement drill bits, use those a lot. Replacement blades for the other knife with the one in the yellow case. Hammer, do I have to explain that one to anybody? It's graphite for locks, to maintain locks, very important. These bigger tape measures used to be my go-to, but they're just so bulky for day-to-day. -day. I don't use them as much anymore. Chalk line was given to me by a neighbor of mine when he moved. I've got some of these small fittings. I do a lot of under cabinet lighting and you end up never having one when you need one. So it just lives in the bottom of the bag. It doesn't take up much space. So I'll put these all back in. Try to find the right spot where they kind of sit together naturally, but you can still reach them out when you need them. Try to have nothing hiding underneath where it's covered up where you can't get to it. That's the worst. You think you don't have it and it's just been sitting in the bottom of the bag all day. That one cuts you sometimes if you don't have the guards on. Same as those chisels. If you reach in the wrong way, it'll slice your finger. There's that little snap-on flat. Use that for electrical outlet face plates. And this one I use for drywall a lot. Spotting screws. You can see it in the bag too. It's really easy because it's orange. Blades go in. Allen wrenches go in. Hammer goes in. That's about it for that side. Little blades go in the front because they're really easy to get to there. I'd always seen these step bits, but I never really knew what they were for, but I picked up a pack and now I use them all the time. Knives go in, pencils go in, you can grab one when you need one. Tape clips on the front, you can really get to it from the front always. And here I've got a couple of these organizer things from Husky, I think I got them from Home Depot. There's a speed square in there and a couple of levels. This one's got the knife and a couple of blades in there, nail set. Some of the smaller, finer screwdrivers and all the ratcheting stubby with the interchangeable bits. The other one's got my pliers in it, got that Knipix. 
Got the needle nose, that's pretty rough because I've been electrocuted with it so many times. A good line pliers from Snap-on, that comes in handy. You got the wire stripper, Milwaukee wire stripper with the pliers on the end, it acts as kind of a needle nose. These are all tin snips, tin shears of various iterations, sizes, shapes. They all come in handy. These are just some uh, stud finders, happen to fit in that little box. And it all just kind of packs together, and stays where it needs to stay on this side. Easy to find, easy to grab. And on the back side, there's a little loop with electrical tape and some Teflon tape, a couple different electrical testers so I don't get shocked, and some jiffies, permanent markers. Some extra tape measure, of course. Drill sometimes lives in there. I can also stuff in the other bits. If it's just one or two screws, I have to go and do something quick. But ordinarily, they live in here, and then I can put in some other drill bits, flashlights, things like that. So that's my main toolbox. It's a little bit heavy when you take it up and downstairs, but the shoulder strap helps a lot. And that's what I'd bring if I'm doing a service call. It has everything I need.